What's up, guys? I thought I'd come on here for a minute and, you know, talk about this. For those, you, for those that don't know, this is a Gretsch Billy Bow. Says it right on the back. Uh, this is a copy. Chinese replica, copy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a very good guitar. Just, I'm going to get a few things out of the way first. I bought it at DH Gate uh, from a guy called Jugs Guitar. If I'm not mistaken, he's still on there. I'm not real, I'm not sure. But he's got... Uh, he, they're not paying me, I promise. By no means. Uh, he's got black, this color, which is cream. Uh, he's got a green sparkle one. The, I like the new one they've come out with, I think, either last year or this year. I can't really remember. And I think he may have a red one. Sparkle red one. Which is it's cool. I mean I've not played it, I don't know, but it, it looks it looks cool. It's got the cool factor going. And it has a Bigsby on it. And the green one does too. It's got the Bigsby. Uh but these like I said, it's a copy. Anybody that buys one of these, you have to know that they're not gonna be perfect. That's really in any guitar really, but especially these, you know. I'm talking like paint and finish and, you know, fret jobs. They're not going to be perfect, especially these. Uh, I've done, I've, I've modified it. I ain't going to say I tricked it out, but I modified it to, you know, the stuff I like. You know, uh, obviously I put the, uh, the Gretsch knobs on it and the gold tip toggle switch tip. Uh, changed out the pickups and that's all I've done. Cause it, you know, the knobs I really didn't like, and they had them little, just these little old cheap, the uh, knobs. I mean, they even got a plastic inside. The Gretsch at least have like a set screw, you know, like these right here should have really. Well, most of them I've seen like it's got the set screw in it. You know, it just goes into your, screws into your post on the, you know, your volume pot or your tone pot, whatever you got. But you know, and. I'm not going to play this because the pickups I have in it are very, very common to Gretsch. Uh, these are the ones that come in like they're electro, uh, I about said electromagnetic, I always say it, but it's electromatic series. And, you know, anybody that's ever played one has probably, like I played their, you know, the electromagnetic series and they've probably played these. And that's what these are. You know, they're nothing spe uh, special. They're very responsive. You know, they're very, they're, they're what a Gretsch should sound like. But anyway, what I had to do to put the pickups in. Anybody that knows about Gretsch or, you know, like their higher end stuff, either come with Fulltron or Fullertron or what, I don't even think I'm saying that right. Full, Fullertron or Fulltron pickups or the TV Jones. They're going to be narrow, but more narrow than, you know, of course, these pickups. These are more like a humbucker size. And the pickups that come in, it's, man, those terrible. I just, I... I plead to, I, you know, I plead the fifth to say that these, the pickups these come with are very bad. They're, they're microphonic, and if you try to run any sound behind it, like a, like a ZZ Top tone, anything with just distortion, I mean, you would have to, you would, you would be running away from it trying to get the squeal out of it, you know. You can't run from it, really, because everywhere you turn, it's just a constant squeal with it. So, and when I first got it, I said, those have to go. Period. Nothing else. So, of course, these are the electromagnetic. Said it. Well, that's saying electromagnetic. These are the uh, the electromagnetic series pickups. And that guy I bought these from said those are Elliot East and some yada yada yada. They're not. I looked up that model and they come with TV Jones. Anyway, moving on. The the pickup cavities are routed for. To fit the, the the TV Jones style, I ain't gonna say those are perfect size to TV Jones, but they was relatively close. So what I had to do, well, I didn't have to do it. My buddy had to do it. Was to take a Dremel and Dremel down on this pickup cavity and Dremel up on this one. Now, when I say Dremel, I'm not saying you know, an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch or nothing like I'm saying like a sixteenth, very, very small amount. I'm not saying like, oh, God, you know, they're not going to fit. 
So that's all I've done to it. I mean, it was not a big deal. And I've not even changed out the pots in it. You know, these are still the dime size, really cheap uh, pots, you know, that these come with. There's nothing wrong with them, but if you want the full effect of one, I would recommend getting a like a 500K pot, you know, something that's going to handle all of the, you know, juice that a pickup, you know, has. These sound fine the way they are. I mean, I'm fine with leaving this the way that I have it now. Uh, I paid 276 at the front door, DH gate, like I said. Uh, I'm, I'm really above, I was below expectations of what to expect out of this. Now that I've got it and I've played it, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm like, wow, I mean, this is really what I, I really wasn't expecting this. You know, I mean, whoever done this, what factory they done it. I mean, this says made in Japan. It's probably made in the same place that the, that the, the real ones is made. And I have a theory on these, but I'm not real sure. On this one, I'm not saying, you no know, on all of them. This one, I feel, I think this may have been a second if that makes sense, because on the, uh, well, this is supposed to be your master volume, which it's not, it's for your neck, whoever wired it at the plant or wherever they done it didn't, you know, this is the way I got it, you know, this was your neck and, you know, your tone for your neck and there's your bridge pickup volume and uh, your tone for your bridge. And I'm thinking that it may have been a second, but I'm not real sure, don't hold me 100% to that because when they cut out the body, you know, do all the work to it, they, Went to go drill this hole, and they drilled it in the wrong place. You know, I figured the CNC machine, you know, would figure where to drill it, but as the old saying goes, shit happens. Uh, and they said, oh, well, we missed a spot there, so we're going to drill right beside it. So what they done, instead of, you know, they drilled it, drilled, misplaced the hole here, then they just went right beside it and drilled another one, and it looks like a figure eight. So, you know, that's kind of my belief, saying, oh, well, this may have been a second, you know, something to it. But I don't think, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't expect that, really. But you don't never know. But these are, very, they're, they're good guitars. They're well constructed. That was the main thing. I said, maybe these things won't be good constructed. But, I mean, the wood, this is like a, I'd say a bass wood, but it may be an alder. I don't know, but it's got, it's got a little weight to it. And the neck feels great, mahogany neck. I mean, it's got... I mean, it resonates really good. I mean, it works good what it has. I don't care if it's made out of furniture. You know, you know, somebody's couch over there, I don't care. I mean, it, it's time to say dick wipe across the top of it and I play it. If it plays good, I don't care. But, and the, the other thing, it can use a fret job. And the way I, well, the reason I know it needs a fret job because it's very obvious <laughs> that between A sharp and C, we'll, we'll say D, there's a nick, like somebody's took a file and done just like that. And you can hear it, I mean, it just, you can hear that popping, like like it's grabbing, something's grabbing the string. And I got looking at it. I said, well, I said, that's being, it's not a deep nick, but it's enough just to aggravate you. So, you know, these could be dressed, you know, dressed and maybe recrowned or something, you know, and it would help it a lot. And the, the, the tailpiece ain't bent right, you know, it's, about got, I have just about got, well, not, I won't say about got, but I've got straight string pull kindly on this. I've kindly got like, it's going straight, it's coming up and it's like, goes up the neck. You know, it's just very seldom, you know, string, or string pull. So I love, I'd love to have a big speed bolt to it and, you know, have that string tension where it goes down on the saddle right here on the bridge so I could sand this or sand that piece of ebony or whatever they make it out of. And sand that down so I can get the action right where I like it. But other than that, I like I said, I paid two hundred seventy six for it, sixty bucks for the pickups. We'll say I'm in at three fifty. It's hard to buy a guitar nowadays for three hundred fifty bucks, set neck especially because those guys told me said so that was a five hundred dollar thing back in the day, at, at least you know, four or five hundred dollars. But these are very good guitars. I mean. I would recommend them, but I'm not gonna hold liability and say, oh yeah, these are great, go buy one. And you get it in being 12 different pieces. Take a chance on it. If you feel like, if you feel froggy, jump and buy one. Just take a chance on it. I took a chance on it. There's plenty of people took a chance on it. 
there's horror stories with them and there's good stories. You know, it's it's a gamble, really. If you can't take a gamble on 200 bucks nowadays or right at $300, I mean, save up, buy one for 3,500 bucks so you know what you'll get. I like mine, no doubt. I mean, that's probably my most played guitar now because I like Billy Gibbons. I love, uh, love ZZ Top and I just get the feeling from it, even in Bo Diddley, you know. Some kind of, you know, 50s playing music. I mean, it sounds good. The pickups are very responsive. They sound great. I love them. But anyway, that's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just shoot me. If you want me to do a sound demo on them, I will. Just shoot me a text, or not a text, but shoot me a comment and let me know what you guys think. Uh, so, yeah, that's it, guys. Just till next time, keep it crapping. Keep it cracking. I'll see you on the flip side.